Hey YouTube, this is Robonuts1 here, and welcome to my very first toy review. This is Final Fantasy XIII Lightning by the Play Arts. And uh, yeah, let's get started. The box that my lightning figure came in. Um, again, Final Fantasy XIII Play Arts action figure. That very cool little symbol there. I really like that symbol. Um, the toy is for ages 13 years and up. Uh, this is the side of the box. Final Fantasy 13. Um, and this is the back of the box. Um, all the Japanese or Chinese stuff. Um, that's the back of the figure. Side. Her legs. Her sexy legs. And you can also get snow and vanilla in this set as well. And that's her. So let's get down to the lightning figure. Um, I really, really like the detail on this figure. Um, she definitely, out of, um, out of the two sets I got at Comic-Con, she is definitely my favourite of the bunch. I love the fact that she came with the cape as well. Um, I wasn't altogether sure whether she would actually come with the cape, and she did, which is awesome. So this is Lightning's head sculpt. Just, just some great detail um, put in to the figure. Um, I really like her blue eyes. Um, this part of the hair looks really good on her. And. I like the fact that um, they made her hair more pink, um, because in the game, um, the hair sort of sh seemed to shift down her body, not in that way. Um, you have what she wears in the first game, like you have the red um, vest, you have the white jacket thing. The skirt, and I've just realised that is really weird. I'm sure the guys of uh, Final Fantasy Thirteen would love that. Zip, and there's her legs. Um, this is quite a, a cool feature. Um, the fact that she has a bag there. Um, but. It does, unfortunately, um, restrict her movement, which is bad. And she has her boots as well, just great detail there. Um, and that's her sword, which we'll get to. Um, she has interchangeable gloves, which are... which... I unfortunately don't have me have with me on the with the in the review. Um but her but you can switch her gloves, but they are a pain to switch. Which is why I have um one open hand which allows her to um hold her hand and one closed fist. Um this is not exactly, it's not attached to her, um, shoulder, which is really, really nice because it doesn't restrict her movement, but it may be a bit breakable as well. So if you're going to be using her, say, stop motion, you might want to be very careful with that. But if you're just... Um, putting her up for display, it's fine, and you can, and she has 25 points of articulation, so 
it's really good that they didn't mould that into the sh shoulder. I have got it on this stand which comes with the um, figure. Um, I found the stand is quite useful, but it, if I get any more of the Play Arts figures, I'm probably gonna only have two stands. Um, this is her cape, which, as I said, I'm really glad that they added that, um, the cape in. Because the cape is part of what makes Lightning such a great character. In my opinion. And that's her gloved hand. And again, just the back um, skirt. And that's the pouch I was talking about. Um, great detail there. And this is her weapons. Um, her weapon thing. Um, that she uses to put her gun in. I found the weapons to be quite challenging to put on to the actual figure. Um, so let me just tear this up. Um, in one of the interchangeable hands you have, I don't know if you can see it, but you have a pointy, see that pointy out blue thing? Yeah. That's supposed to fit into this, oops, that's supposed to fit into this sword, where that hole is, that hole. And I've really, really struggled to put um, this sword in, um, and the gun is impossible to put on as well. Um, this is the gun, um, I really, really like the gun, just some great detail there. Um, the gun is also poseable, and you can, if you press that down, um, you get the holster, which essentially turns it into a gun. Um, my only complaint about the gun is I think it might be very, very breakable. Um, and on my, on my gun, um, it's a little loose at times. And I'm afraid of breaking, of breaking the gun, which is why I don't really use it very much. Um, but it is a very, very cool gun. And the gun actually um, goes into Lightning's um, weapon holster, which is a nice little feature. If you just put it in there, um, she can hold it. And it holds very, very well as well, which is great. Sword, just some really, really great detail put in to the sword. And um, this is what I have her with most of the time, just because it's such a cool sword. And it's the only sword I can, um, it's the only weapon I can put on to the character. So, um, the the possibility, um, her head can go side to side, um, up, and not very far down, unfortunately. Um, I don't know what restricts her from going down, but, um, trying not, um, but th there's something. Um, and she, I, she can sort of go 360 if you push the hair, if you push the hair mould, um, right? 
But it's unnatural to, to do the head 360. Unless you're in a scary movie. Um, she does have waist articulation. Um, she can go side to side. Um, she can possibly go 360. I'm not going to do it necessarily, but she can go 360 if you move the cape. Um, and she also has waist articulation as well. It can go up and down. Um, her hands can go stretch like that and bend at the elbow and her wrists can go 360. Um, her legs can go, um, up to about there. Um, this leg unfortunately can't move very well. Um, and that it is mainly because that does restrict her movement somewhat. Um, but this leg can go outstretch, bend, both legs can bend at the knee, and she has possibility in her feet as well, which can go up and down. Her cape can go epic wind power. Well, let me try that again. Epic wind power. It does move. There you go. Uh, yeah. And that can go in both directions, I think. Um, the cape is not removable, as far as I know. Um, but again, as I say, she looks so cool with the cape, so... I like the fact that, um, you can keep the cape on. Um, I brought her for about... Thirty-five pounds. Um, she is the cheapest I've seen with the character. Um, because I've seen play arts figures go for about seventy-five pounds, and I thought that was pretty steep. Um, but for her, she, she's a thirty-five pound figure. Um, she is slightly breakable, um, which lowers my grade for her, but no, I would give her about a 4 out of 5. Um, she is slightly breakable, and her legs, and one of her legs can't move very well, and, um, but as long as you're gentle with her, as long as you're gentle with her, um, she is a great, great figure. And, um, she, she's one of my favourite Final Fantasy characters, so... Um, I hope that they actually put her in the Kingdom Hearts 3 game. Because she's a great character. Really like her. Um, so that's my toy review for lightning over. Um, subscribe if you haven't subscribed already. I do um, comic book reviews, movie reviews, occasionally I do trailers. Um, I, I am going to be doing some stop motion um, work with these characters. I'm also working on lots of different projects that might find its way on YouTube um, in the near future. So if any of this interests you, subscribe. Um, so thank you very much and I shall see you all later for another toy review. Bye.